All right, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about how Ethan Klein was fat shamed on Twitter the other day. This is some of the funniest shit I've seen in a while. This YouTuber, Turkey Tom, he just tweeted out a picture of Ethan on the Tiger Belly podcast, and he didn't even say anything. He didn't put a caption. He just tweeted out this picture that he might have found on the H3 subreddit because Ethan's fans thought this picture was hilarious and it was like the top post on there. But of course, not everybody found this funny, and this other YouTuber, Mr. Beard, responded to Turkey Tom's Twitter post with a whole paragraph about fat phobia. He said, recently online, I've been noticing that fat phobia has been getting worse and worse. I know I'll get hate for this, but even if you don't think it's healthy to be fat, attacking a fat person is directly linked to fascism because you're saying unhealthy people are inferior. So that's a pretty extreme response. And it's funny that he says fat phobia is getting worse and worse. And then this is his example, just a picture of somebody with no caption and then just some comments making fun of Ethan a little bit. But this is just like regular stuff you see on the internet. Well, actually this is more tame than most things on the internet. Like if you wanna do this whole thing where you're calling people out for fat shaming, go after Ethan and his fans. They're even worse than this. Like I said, they posted this picture to the subreddit and they thought it was hilarious and it got 4,000 upvotes. And some of these comments were making fun of his weight. Like this person said rotund king and it had 85 upvotes and this other person said chubby joker so these are his own fans making fun of his weight and it's probably more insulting coming from his fans just check out these other comments they're pretty bad like coming from keemstar or somebody that hates him they're not as bad because of course they're gonna say shit like this but these are his own fans and these are getting like upvotes people are agreeing with this somebody said what the fuck happened to ethan this person said i thought ethan was working out somebody responded he's into fitness whole pizza in his mouth then somebody else responded lol remember when ethan joked about dj khaled how he's always exercising but every time you see dj khaled he's fatter ethan looks like he's going to need help getting off that couch so his fans were not holding back on him like these might be worse than the comments on the turkey tom post and these are coming from his own fans and i don't care obviously i think it's funny i don't think there's anything wrong with joking around about something like this but i think you could definitely consider that fat shaming like saying what the fuck happened to ethan from that picture i think is fat shaming but ethan really has no right to complain about it because he makes fun of people's weight and he makes fun of people's appearances so he would be a massive hypocrite but obviously that's never stopped him so he probably will complain about it so if mr beard really thinks that fat phobia just keeps getting worse and worse and he's worried about it why doesn't he ever go after ethan because ethan's fat phobic all the time he's always body shaming people he doesn't give a shit and if ethan was smart he would tell mr beard to take it down a notch or stop defending him at least because almost every podcast ethan will say or do something that's a lot worse than that turkey tom tweet and ethan has one of the biggest podcasts in the world and he has a huge influence so him being fat phobic on there is a lot worse and probably more harmful than turkey tom posting some picture like on ethan's podcast one time he pulled up a picture of nicholas the Oreo and him and his staff just started laughing at him because he's overweight. You wouldn't think twice about it. Oh. Yeah, I mean, this is Nicholas Di <laughs> Yeah. That's a good one, Avery. With, <laughs> with that, um, <laughs> with that, uh, uh, Weekend at Burn, what was it? Weekend at Bernie's? What's that movie? And then also, obviously, we have Ethan's tweets where, I mean, you could consider this body shaming. Like, what does Mr. Beard think of this? <laughs> you know, Ethan said, Joe Rogan, a steroid pinata whose gut is swollen from human growth hormone, lectures people on health. And then we also have Ethan comparing Joe Rogan to this like dog meme. And I don't really care if he does this stuff. I don't have a problem with it. But if you're somebody like Mr. Beard or one of those YouTubers, like left wing people, that are always talking about how bad it is to fat shame people and body shame people and that's like your whole platform how are you not calling this out you're spending your time calling out some guy with like 70,000 twitter followers because he posted a picture like wouldn't it make sense to criticize somebody who has way more of an influence and somebody that you might actually be able to get through to because ethan's woke and he acts like he cares about these issues at least so maybe it'd be better if you talk to him about it and got him to change first because he has a bigger platform too and he influences more people and like i just showed you in his comments on that reddit page there are 85 people that upvoted a fat phobic post so while all this twitter drama was going on of course other people people had to chime in to support Mr. Beard. Like if I were them, I would've just sat this one out. I'd be like, dude, I think you jumped the gun a little bit on this one. How about you wait for something a little worse to happen to talk about how bad fat phobia has gotten? But no, of course these people just cannot help themselves. So Gus Johnson's ex-girlfriend, Sabrina, she chimed in and said, sick of these fat phobic fucks on my timeline. And then iDub's girlfriend commented on that and said, I'm so tired of seeing people comment on other people's bodies. 
like they're the pinnacle of health themselves. So then I commented on her post because I'm like, yeah, I'm sick of all these fat phobic people. Let's call them out right now. So I said, oh, like Ethan does all the time because he's fat phobic. I'm like, let's go after him. Let's end this fat phobia. I'm sick of it. And I posted this clip of him. But damn, she's built like a fucking, uh, she's, you know who she's built like? Alex Jones, top heavy. Yeah, she's built like a tank. <laughs> Felt like a fucking brick wall, dude. Yeah, so I posted that because I'm also tired of seeing people comment on other people's bodies and acting like they're the pinnacle of health. Like, Ethan has no right to talk here, obviously. So I commented that, hoping that they would be on my side and be like, yep, Ethan's out of line here. Let's put an end to this. I'm glad you're pointing this out, you know? But I was just met with a block. That's how much these people care. And obviously I'm joking. I didn't expect them to like go along with it. But all I was doing is pointing out another person who's body shaming somebody and she blocks me for it. So this girl will have a temper tantrum over some small YouTuber just posting a picture of some fat guy with no caption. But when it comes to Ethan Klein, somebody who has an even bigger audience and influence who's supposed to be woke, when it comes to him body shaming somebody, she doesn't care and she doesn't want to hear it and she won't criticize him. That's how much she cares. I mean, it's just all about virtue signaling. And I'm surprised she even saw that tweet. I barely have any Twitter followers. I only post like once a month. And that post had like one like, I think. But I guess she could even handle it and she had to block me. Like she could have easily acted like a mature adult and been like, yeah, that's not right of Ethan to do. He shouldn't be doing that either. I wish he would stop. But instead she sees that and is like, oh my God, this is somebody that I like that's body shaming. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to know that. So it's just hard to believe that these people really care. It seems like they only care when it's somebody they don't like. So then of course H3 fans hear about all this drama and they obviously have the best take on it, even though they were actually body shaming Ethan for this picture. But somebody posted to the H3 subreddit and they said, the hate Ethan gets on Twitter is pissing me off. It's all fat phobic and anti-Semitic. And then they just show that tweet, just somebody posting a picture of Ethan. If this is pissing you off, then you need help. Like that is not good. It's so hard to believe that these people are real. Like this is another post. This, like how is this a real person saying this stuff? This is insane. Like what, I can't believe I'm reading this. This person said, all these people are mad because he's Jewish, funnier than they are, and they're insecure, losers, mad that Ethan, who's been married for over a decade to his gorgeous wife, doesn't fit into their Chad strongman get girls, and everyone else is lonely because girls are hoes, worldview, and have to be confronted with the fact that they're alone because they're the assholes, because he doesn't fit the ideal male image, but is happily married. They're so predictably insecure, they have nothing else to do but dunk on his weight. The worst offense of it all is their bad taste because Ethan is hot. Holy crap. That is like the saddest shit I've ever heard in my life. My head hurts after reading that. They're taking coping to another level. I don't know how you could type that out and be like, yeah, that, that's good. Especially the fact that Ethan makes fun of people just as much. So is he just jealous of them? Is he insecure and all that stuff? I think Ethan would even cringe at that comment. And like with that post from Turkey Tom, I don't think he gives a shit at all because he probably knows if he's going to go after other people's appearances all the time, then he really has no right to complain. And I mean, he's just used to it. I don't think he cares if Turkey Tom posts a picture of him. Do you think he gives a shit at all? And again, his own fans were making fun of his weight and they're posting that picture and laughing at it. And sometimes it's like Ethan is asking for people to make fun of him. Like when he went on that rant about how working out is a waste of time or something, like he knew how stupid that was. Obviously people are gonna make fun of you for that. The exercise, I'm just gonna be honest. <laughs> there are so many better things to do than exercise. We have finite time on this earth. And like, this is what I'm saying. The exercise is such a conspiracy, they go, Let's say you spend an hour on a treadmill every day. Money, Ethan. It's not a conspiracy. Let me explain why it's a conspiracy. <laughs> and you can tell from other episodes, Ela definitely wants him to get skinnier. She does not like him being so unhealthy, which might be fat phobic. I don't know. Mr. Beard needs to let us know. But there's just one other clip I wanted to play. This is like one of the funniest things ever. This was from the beginning of the year when Nick Akato and Ethan were going back and forth. And Nick says that Ethan's not far off from his weight. And Ethan's like, are you serious? Like, Ela, what do you think of that? She's like, yeah, you're not too far off. And Ethan's reaction is awesome. Like, look at your own man. He's my size. <laughs> okay, Ela, you weigh in. He just called you out. Am I the size of Nick? Hi, Alfredo. I mean... Maybe not identical, but I get his point. You're not, you guys are not far off. Are you fucking serious? Not far off? I think. <laughs> you think I eat like this? No, you don't eat like that, but. I'm not far off.
gone that far, huh? I mean, anybody else? <laughs> I, don't know. I could take it. It's not that far off. It's not far off. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, he's bigger than you, but not by like a lot. Yeah, it's not like enough for you to. Um... He's not. Okay. You keep pointing you... to the amount that he's eating. That's irrelevant. Yeah. So I just thought that was hilarious, and I'm surprised he didn't lose weight after that because that would not be a good sign. And I'm sure Ela's just saying that because she wants him to lose weight. So that's about it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about all this. Then hit the like button. Then hit the subscribe button. And I'll catch you at the next video.